Right. Now, uh, one other thing that would be fun to add as a uh, little extra is I've gone into my green foot folder and I go into the ant itself. And you can see there's two other folders. The images contain everything, including, I can preview it, say so our little logo there of the RIP. And because we loaded it up, There's our ant itself. So all of these are contained within this image folder. The sound folder, on the other hand, uh, what I've done is I've saved into there a small audio file, which again I'll put on Google Classroom for you. Um, and if we play that, it's a little voice of an ant going, uh oh, so it's fairly harmless. Uh, now, because I've now saved that, manually into the sans folder it's all in lowercase and it's a dot wav that's a wave audio file i can actually use this now inside my greenfoot so as well as adding an object i'm going to use greenfoot play sound command so capital g it's part of the library dot and this is play sound and in speech marks the exact, oops, that's not it, there we go, the exact file name, including the .wav, because it's a .wav file for the sound. And what will happen now? Well, we'll test it, as we see. Sorry. See, it says a little uh-oh each time one goes. Right, so, so you need to Either find a sound off the internet you like, create a sound yourself, or use the one from Google Classrooms, save it into the sounds folder, and then using Greenfoot Play Sound and using the correct file name, you can actually get to play that sound. Away you go.